Welcome to MapTO. I'll walk you through all of the main features and at the end of this video I'll give you a quick preview of some of what we've got coming next in the tour. So the heart of the product is this visualization of your organization in nested circles. I can zoom in on my trackpad by pinching and I can see how the big picture of the organization, the overall vision or purpose, um, deconstructs into the ever more specific things that contribute to it. Now MapTO is very undogmatic and so it doesn't force you to use circles in a particular way. They might represent teams or domains of authority, it's really up to you. Now if I click on a circle, like developing the technology here, this panel will open and show me what that circle's all about. So. I can add tags to circles. This is used for categorizing circles to show similarities between things in different parts of the map that don't necessarily fit into the pattern of nesting. So for example, I've got knowledge sharing um, tagged there. And the way that works is if I close that panel and then filter the map, I can say, just show me any circles relating to knowledge sharing and it will highlight those ones for me. So let's go back in again and close the filter box. I can now see who's involved in this um, circle. So it's being led by Sophia here. We can actually change the word lead in MapTO. If you have your own terminology that you prefer to use, like you just want to highlight the main point of contact or the secretary for a circle, you can use a different word there. Then we have the circle description where you can put in any information that you like about that circle, including links to other tools or systems or documents that that circle might be using. And the idea here is that MapTO is not trying to replace your online project management or task uh, management tools because in more self-managing organizations, teams tend to choose the tools that work best for them. It's not mandated by a centralized IT team. Um, so the idea is that MapTO provides you with the organizational overview and then you can link off to anything else that circles might be using. We then have a list of other people who are helping in this circle and we can also see what their roles are. So we can see that I'm added to this circle and I also happen to be the barista responsible for making tea and coffee. And we've got a bunch of other people with roles added to them. Um, if I click to add a new role, so let's add a new role for me and I'll say I'm a software tester. I can create a new role and in MapTO we have two types of role. So we can either say that this is a custom role, which means it's a thing that only I do only in this circle, or we can add it to the role library. And the role library means that multiple people in the organization can hold the same role. So if we ever change something about the description of that role, it will apply to everybody. So let's um, do that there. So there's the software tester role added to me. Now, if we want to edit the map, I can open up this panel here and let's close this one out of the way. So now I can see a list of all of the circles in the organization and the pattern of nesting shows which circles are sub-circles of higher level ones. If we want to add a new circle to the map, it's as simple as just clicking the button to add a new sub-circle. Um, so let's add a sub-circle here called Quality Assurance. And then we can select who's the lead of that circle. We can say that's Clemens and we can start adding other people to the circle here. Say Chandney's helping with that. We can add a role to Chandney. Um, let's see if we can add the um, software tester role that we created just now. So she's added in the circle there. So it's very quick to, to set up new circles and we can see there's our quality assurance circle appeared there on the map. We can also add vacancies to circles. So these are where you know that you need someone filling a particular role, but you don't have anybody yet. So we can add a role here. So let's say that we need a facilitator for this circle. And let's add another one as well for good luck. Let's say we need a customer success champion in here. So this helps you to start to plan for hiring. So you can start to think where are the gaps in the organization? What kind of roles do we do we need? And then when you're ready to hire, you can see if you can package any of those up into a into a job ad and bring a new person on board. So let me show you how we see um, those roles in the organization. So if I just close this panel here in the directory, we have a view of everybody in the organization. And so if I click on somebody, let's click on me, 
I can see a list of all of the circles that I'm involved in. In these two tabs, circles that I'm a lead of and circles where I'm not a lead but I have some other role in there. So this is my useful point where I can see what's all the stuff that my colleagues are expecting of me. They're expecting me to be responsible for these things. And then I can see who else is helping me with those things. So I can see in this circle here, I have three helpers and this is what their, what their roles are. So I can get a really clear picture of who's helping who, which circle everybody fits in. If I scroll up in the directory, we can also see a list of all of the all of the roles in the organization. So this is all the different types of things that people do around here. And then I can see where those circles, where these roles appear inside the circles. So for example, this software tester role that we just created, we can see that appears in two circles. We can see who's holding holding those roles. And then finally, we can click on the vacancies and see where is it that we need more people. And so we can see here, that the customer success champion is um, a vacancy in these two circles there. So that's what you would normally use when you're figuring out who you're going to hire for. Um, so that's the directory view. We also have a network view of the organization. So in addition to the, the hierarchical breakdown of the circles, because people appear in multiple places on the map, sometimes as a lead, sometimes as a contributor, that same data forms a network which we can view here. So the connections between people mean that those people are um, working in the same circle together. The thickness of the line shows how many circles they're working together. So the thicker ones mean that people are collaborating lots. The thinner ones might mean they're only in one circle together. If we want, we can change the view and see what direction the collaboration is going. So the arrow here is going between contributors and leads. So you can see that me here as the founder of the organization, I'm the lead of quite a few circles and various other people are contributors to that. But also the connections go in other directions as well. So there's something that Chanley's leading where I'm in a more of a supporting role there. So that's the network view. Um, if we go into the organization settings now, if I click up here, this is the list of everybody in the in the organization. We can import people here from a CSV file if you've got quite a few to add. Maptio easily supports um, in the low hundreds of people. We have two permission types in Maptio, standard users and admin users. For standard users, they can view all of the data in the organization, but they can't change anything, so it's read-only. And admin users can edit or delete anything at all on the, um, on the map. Um, what we recommend is just having a small number of admin users, and they can help protect the integrity of the map. We sometimes find that in a larger organization, if everybody's editing things, you'll find inconsistencies um, starting to emerge so it's usually better to have a small number of people really responsible for the map integrity. Maptio lets you create more than one map for the same organization so this is useful if you want to create more than one lens on your on your um, on your org so if you wanted one view that's perhaps more of a functional breakdown of what everybody's doing and a different view of the organization that's more of a customer centric view you can do that or if you wanted to play around with a new organizational structure before you start to, to roll it out, you can map it out and see how it looks, see if it makes sense. And you can have as many as you like for your organization. We can customize some of the terminology used in Maptio. So as I mentioned earlier, you can change the words lead and contributor to things that make sense more for your organization. We have a simple Slack integration as well that you can set up. So the Slack integration allows you to post a static picture of the circle map into a slack channel of your of your choice and we're we're planning on doing a lot more in terms of slack integration later um, so that is the organization settings and so let me show you a little bit about what's coming up in maptio so this is the new version of maptio that we're going to be rolling out this year so as you'll see we've really cleaned up the user interface We've used actually Google Maps as our inspiration, so if this layout looks a bit familiar, that's that's why. Um, we've also made it a bit more prominent to see who else is involved in circles other than just the lead on the, on the map, so we can see all of the people there. And now if I click on the map, it allows me to slowly zoom in and see ever more detail as I scroll through. So this is what's coming up as we finish polishing this. We'll be pushing this live to all of our customers this year. 
So if you'd like to, to try Maptio, all you need to do is head over to our website where you can click Try Maptio for free. From there you can book a very quick onboarding call, usually at quite short notice, so usually for the next day, or if you're in a real hurry, just send us an email and we might be able to do it even quicker than that. And what we'll do is we'll just quickly walk you through the setup process and help you get going. It's the fastest way to do it and get productive inside Maptio. So that's everything. Hope that makes sense. And um, yeah, hope to see you on an onboarding call soon. Thanks very much.